Because you're aging yourself I right know. now. Stop it. Go ahead. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to Twin Talks. I'm Nadia. And I'm Nikki. And today we're going to talk about why people do not want to get married. What do you think? Oh boy. Well, I think, you know, the stats on marriage haven't been the greatest. A lot of people have witnessed marriages that, that don't work out. And I think that is a, maybe a subliminal reason why people are maybe afraid to, to get married. Um, I think that's, that's a key part. What about you? What do you think? Uh -oh. I think people don't really understand the purpose of it anymore. If I don't want to sound ignorant. People get married for love and for different reasons, but I think a lot of people are opting to live together rather than to get married. Okay, that's right? their choice. Which is totally their choice. I, I, I'm neither here nor there. It's a question of why don't people want to get married? Well, I also think, it sounds a little cynical, but I think, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm married and stuff, but I feel that many people have worked really hard, whether they're um, whether they're working hard through education or through building a business and um, and they I really do believe that they they do fall in love with the people that they're with initially yeah but then um, what ends up happening is let's say they do go through a traditional marriage right and then they get divorced right. and then they they lose half of it right yeah. Uh, they lose half of whatever their net worth is and then it's like whoa wait a minute here that's a lot to lose yes, it um, is. if it doesn't work out so unfortunately I think people start they well fortunately they start sort of innocent and wanting to go through it yeah. but then um, when they witness their parents or witness their friends having to pay out half or more the half them their life's work yeah then they get uh, jaded by it yeah. which is unfortunate but it's understandable yeah and i think also um people might be afraid of the institution of marriage because it's said that sometimes the institution yeah of marriage yeah can ruin the relationship well, that, what do you mean by that well I, just I'm gonna break it down explain. for me i'll yeah. try to explain yeah but sometimes every, uh, you go into a marriage thinking a certain way that it it could be uh, you know it will be 50 50 or whatever the case may be okay right? and you're a little girl <laughs> or a little boy you're reading the happily ever after stories and then there's that little fairy tale of what a marriage looks like right okay okay and so sometimes people walk into the marriage thinking a certain way and they have a certain way of how to look at, at marriage yes and then it becomes the flintstones, flintstones make the flintstones. <laughs> once they have kids okay like for what no, do you mean by the flintstones the flintstones you're aging yourself I right know. now stop it go ahead <laughs> <laughs> yeah but for those people who don't know the Flintstone, Wilma's the one who's the, the submissive one, and Fred's the one who makes all the decisions, and he does the work, and he does all this, and Wilma looks after Bam Bam and Pebbles, <laughs> and we live, all live happily ever after. And sometimes that happens, but sometimes course, it doesn't. But then sometimes the idea of marriage can be very intimidating. The institution of marriage can be very intimidating. Yeah, I think the message, though, is um, it, it is hard. Yeah. Like uh, no one ever thought it was going to be easy and yeah. nobody walks into a marriage thinking they're going to be divorced yeah, either. Yes. Um, but I think the important thing is to understand that your partnership creates the, what the marriage is. Yeah. It creates the discourse. Yeah. So you don't have to listen to everything around it. Yes. You create the rules within the parameters of yeah. your relationship That's what I meant. and then you probably have a higher, better, a higher or a better chance at success for it. Yes, you know, I mean, we live into what marriage should be, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, whatever the two people agree upon is the boundaries that they should stick live to. into and stick to in their marriage. Yeah, and you know what? There are people who enter into marriage on a more traditional sense, like through a religious lens, right? right? And that works for them and there's no shame on that. Yeah. But it's unfortunate that people are, are are not wanting to take it on on a huge level anymore. And that's their prerogative. But it's pro their prerogative, prerog and it is understandable. It just I, is I sad. So. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, I think there's a place for it still. 
You think so? But maybe that's another Twin Talks topic. <laughs> is there a place for marriage? I think there is. Of but course. That's debatable, obviously. That's what we're here doing. <laughs> it is debatable. <laughs> that is another Twin Talks. That's another. We'll come back to you with that. Okay? We will. <laughs> so, if you liked us, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. See, See you next time, time on Twin Talks. Talks.